Hello, and welcome to this presentation on ELC install and licensing setup. The agenda uh, for today's presentation is to help you download the ELC, install the ELC, set up licensing, and run Data Architect to validate the license to make sure that the ELC is working. So with that, let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into my a virtual machine here that I have. And here you can see I'm at the docwiki.embarkador.com slash ELC 5.4. And what I've gone ahead and done is I've gone ahead and downloaded the 5.4.1 uh, installer. And here you can see I have it in my downloads. And what I've done is once I've instantiated, I've gone ahead and launched the installer. And I'll go ahead and accept the terms and conditions. You can install it in the local C drive. We'll click next. We'll, we'll make sure that everything is all good. Now we'll just hit install. So while uh, this process is happening, let me give you a quick overview on why the ELC is required. The ELC is basically our way of licensing our products, and it also helps uh, multiple users uh, use the product uh, simultaneously, depending upon the type of license. So today we'll be setting up a concurrent-based license for this exercise. So now that it's done, let's go ahead and we'll click on Done. And it's going to go ahead and launch a web page here shortly. And that is what is called as the ELC. And here we're actually going to type in admin admin. That's the all our lowercase. I'll click on login. There we go. So here we're presented with our wizard where we can actually go ahead and enter the information. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this. And we'll click on license hosting. Now here, what you need to know is you need to get in the, you will have received an email from Embarcadero or IDERA licensing saying that this is going to be a network-based license. So you'll get an email with the login information and I'll go ahead and get that information here. So the first thing we'll need is the login name. Now, once you're done with that, we can then go ahead and provide a a master host address, preferably a domain name. Um, I'll go ahead and uh, just call this as uh, ELC install. We'll go ahead and click on host licenses. Now remember, you need to have internet for this to be performed. Uh, if you do not have internet, we also have an alternative method where you can perform the hosting offline. So here you can and click on the link and there you can provide the same information. As before. Now that we've performed the hosting successfully, let's go ahead and grab our licenses. Here you can see we have all of our licenses listed, and these are all concurrent users. So if I click on concurrent, I do not have any users here. So I'll go ahead and click on add entry, choose all and any of any. This is for any username, any host name, and any of the products that they would like to use. And offline usage would usually mean like how many days you would like to leave the product offline without them having to request a license. So we'll click Add. Now we'll click Save to File to reload it. Now once this is done, let's go into Manage Catalog. And this will give us the list of products that we're entitled to. So I'll go ahead and click on the ER Studio 19. And here you can see what all the software is going to go ahead and download. Let's hit yes. It's going to go ahead and get all the products downloaded here shortly. So while this download is happening, I'll show you a little bit about what else you can do with the ELC. You can actually go into the report section. And once you're connected, you can actually go ahead and see which application is being used, how often it's being used, and what is the denial of the licenses if you've ever had that, etc. So now let's move back and see how our, um, our catalog is. We're almost done here.
Next, what else you can do is you can also look at the connected users. Uh, once we have installed the software on here, I'll show you how easy it is to go to this website and do a self-service and acquire the license and, and launch the product instantly. So we'll be installing your Studio Data Architect here you know, in a few, and we'll license the product. So what I would like to do is now go to Manage Catalog and, and make sure that we have that there. It's almost there, good. And once that is through, we should be able to, excellent. So now that we have this here, we can now navigate to the go to catalog option. And here we can just type in as admin, all lowercase. And now if I go to the 19 version, here you can see I can go ahead and download uh, the particular product that I'm interested in. So I can actually go ahead and download this latest product. So I'll go ahead and launch that. Now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hit open. Go ahead and launch the installer. And while this is getting installed, I'll go ahead and um, download the license that I can extract directly. So all I need is just this license file. And I'll click download and it goes and downloads this license file for me. So now here we are. It's going to go ahead and uh, finish the installation here in a few. And once the installation is done, we can click on launch. And uh, if it does ask for a reboot, just reboot your machine and come back and, and relaunch the application. And that's all you gotta do. But for now, since this is a brand new machine that I've just provisioned, it should go straight through. Excellent, now let's click on launch. Now the first thing that you will see is that you'll get this product registration. Click on advanced, click on import, and go to your downloads, go to the concurrent slip file. It's gonna import that. It says it's successfully imported. Excellent. And now I'll just hit done. And there you go. Here's Data Architect. We can see that it's connected to a concurrent a floating license. Everything looks good. Now let's go back to the License Center. And we do see that the connected user is the ELC admin, and this is the concurrent license that they're licensed to. So thank you very much for watching this informative video. We hope this helps you to uh, get the ELC installed and license uh, either as ER Studio product uh, or any of the Embarcadero products successfully. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to at idera.com slash contact sales, and we'd be more than happy to assist. Thank you and have a great day.